What is up, YouTube? It's me, John Avenger, once again. And once again, I'm wearing my awesome Green Lantern shirt that I got at Six Flags Great Adventure this summer. And, uh, well, this is not a review on the Green Lantern because they didn't have any sequels yet. But welcome back to sequel and, and prequel month. This time I'm talking about the first sequel to this franchise that it's the last time the Wachowskis ever made a movie that I was interested in. I know people, a lot of people hate this movie, and they hate the other one afterwards. I haven't seen the last one, but this one I actually do enjoy for what it is. It was the second one I saw, and I didn't see the Animatrix yet, but I already spoiled it. It's the second one, Matrix Reloaded. I do enjoy the sequel. I know a lot of people didn't. When I saw this back in 2003 on DVD, I was like, yeah, it's long. There's some things in the plot that don't make sense. There's a lot of confusing, you know, plot uh, subplots and things like that, but I don't think this movie is that bad. A lot of people give it a lot of grief, but Keanu Reeves is awesome in these movies. I'd rather see this than Speed 2 because that couldn't be saved. This is the thing. Yeah, there's a lot of people in it because they, they added them. Um, they brought back the three people from the first film, Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss and Lawrence Fishburne, but they also added uh, Jada Pickett-Smith, who I enjoy. I don't think she's horrible. You have... Um, the lovely Monica Bellucci, who I can see that woman. That woman could be sewing, and I'll be interested because she's gorgeous, and just I love listening to her. And uh, also, they had some, you know, the the uh, what was it, the uh, the keymaker, I think, yeah, the one that's you know talks to Neo about the Matrix and all that. Uh, is this real? Is this the you know the digital world or whatever? But yeah, there are some confusing plot points here and there, but I think it's a worthy sequel to the first one. If they had stopped with this one and this was the last film, I would not have been upset about it because they did a third movie, which I had heard a lot of terrible things, and and they kill off your two leads at the end, which is stupid. But at least here, Neo and Trinity are together. You know, there's a scene they have sex, which is fine. I mean, it's not that long. Uh, you know, the action is really well done here. I got to say that. The scene with Neo fighting all those Agent Smiths and he's doing that, those spinning kicks and all that, it's straight out of a crazy anime. It's really fun action sequences. The scene in the, mor the motorcycle chase, still one of the coolest imagery I've ever seen in a Wachowski's film. Because Jupiter Ascending, all it had was visuals. It had no plot. It was boring. This at least isn't that boring. There's some slow spots where there's a lot of talking, but... When the action's there, it is mind-blowing, and especially since this was many years after The Matrix. The first movie was 1999. This was 2003. Some time had passed, and the CGI, you know, got more advanced, and they wanted to use more computer effects. And in a digital world like The Matrix, I think it works. The cast is fine. I think they do a good performance. Uh, you know, it's, it doesn't have a shitty villain. I think Agent Smith, you know, Hugo Weaving is one of his best roles. I didn't even know he was foreign. But he's a good actor for what he... I like him in Lord of the Rings. I think he's great in that. He's a very dramatic voice. He was a good Red Skull in Captain America, the first Avenger. And uh, it's fine. For a sequel, I know Duck Walker liked this more than the first movie and the second and the third movie. Because he's like, I didn't care for the characters in the first movie. I just wanted some action. This one has great action. The first one has the best plot and is the best action sci-fi you know spectacle but this one is not far behind it's pretty damn awesome it's when the wachowskis were actually trying with their movies i haven't seen their other films since uh this movie well i saw one movie with them that they directed and that was uh jupiter ascending and it was freaking boring and uh, it was something original but it was lackluster i haven't seen speed racer i have not seen cloud atlas i have not seen any of that because i'm like you know who are the new Wachowskis? The guys that made those Captain America sequels, Winter Soldier and Civil War. That's how you do sequels straight through. No BS subplots that confuse people, and you don't kill your leads at the end. So that's how you do it. Here, at least in the second movie, I can see them, you know, getting out. I thought the film, you know, when the action's there, it sucked me in. I was like, wow, this is just like in the first movie. And the guys in the white, you know, they, they they're there, you know. They're there to just follow Neo and Trinity. That's about it. You know, they're not really like that. You know, they don't affect the plot one way or another. But I think Matrix Un Reloaded is under is underrated. It doesn't deserve all the hate it gets. It's a lot better than Revolutions. I already know that because because of the stupid ending in that. And it's R rated still. See, it's sci-fi, violence, and sexuality. One sex scene. It doesn't go on for too long. 
And uh, you get to see Carrie Ann Moss, you know, in her birthday suit. So I'm not going to complain about that. She's a gorgeous Canadian actress. And it's a fun sequel. What did, worked in the first movie, there's a lot of things here that I like that worked in the sequel. And Keanu still kicks ass. I'm glad he went from this to doing John Wick because John Wick was just a return to form, R-rated, bloody, badass, awesome. And this movie's pretty underrated. I don't think it's it's that terrible. Give me a break. I've seen sequels that destroy the first movie. <laughs> Speed 2 or Son of the Mask. This is not one of them. This is a good sequel. Good. Not great. Not the best. But of the two sequels, I think this one's more serviceable to the first movie. Third one, they just went completely crazy. And I'm going to see it eventually. I'll review it after I see it. But I don't think Matrix Reloaded is that bad of a film. I got this for a buck. It was worth it. I'll, I'll see it again to refresh my memory. It's been a long time. And the Wachowskis, I like the way the film looks. I think it's a really well shot movie. Great cinematography. Great action scenes that you can actually see. They don't shake the camera every five minutes. And, uh, you know, the sound is good. And the music and the score, everything. just it's, it's a solid sequel. It's not horrible. I've seen horrible from the Wachowskis. And I've seen horrible sequels. Before and after this movie, I'd rather see this than the 2003 Hulk. That was boring. So boring. At least this has some action and it's R-rated and I like the actors. So that's enough for me. Despite the, the, the confusing plot lines in the middle of the film. But I like Matrix Reloaded. It's not that bad. I would defend it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. For uh, I hope you give Matrix Reloaded a chance. I know a lot of people hate it. I get it. I get it. They said, oh, the both Matrix sequels suck. I think this one is solid for what it is. And, uh, you know, it doesn't deserve the hate. But anyway, thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting on my videos. You guys are awesome. I can't do this without you guys. I give you all the, you know, the, the praise because, you know, I love to do these videos for you guys. And, you know, it's just the best feeling in the world to express myself here on YouTube. And I haven't gotten a suspended account or flagged or, you know, any copyright claims. That's always awesome because I don't use footage. I don't use music. I just talk on a camera, defend the movie, or I thrash a movie if it pisses me off. But anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.